Hi guys, this is Alex here from the Growing Younger team. Uh, remember me from the last video, I shared with you information about the telomeres, the little uh, caps on the top, on, on the ends of your chromosomes inside your, your, your body cells that essentially get shorter as you get older. So essentially the telomeres can be likened to your internal biological clock. The older we get, the shorter they become. So essentially, I've drawn a little uh, clock dial for you here to um, kind of demonstrate what I'm about to share with you. So essentially when we are born, uh, you could say that your biological clock is at 1 p.m., okay? So that means your telomeres are very, very healthy and long. So long telomeres means good health, so that's a good thing, okay? Now as we gradually get older and older, so we reach our adolescence, then we reach our adulthood, these telomeres start to get shorter and shorter and shorter, okay? Then once we um, sort of become, let's say we get to our 50s, maybe 60s, um, the telomeres in some people become so short that it starts to cause all sorts of age-related diseases, such as arthritis and uh, diabetes, okay? So essentially, the, the, the shorter your telomeres, the older biologically you are, and, and that starts to, to cause all sorts of issues as well. Now, the really great news is that recently scientists have actually discovered that you can actually lengthen your telomeres. You can actually make yourself essentially biologically younger by implementing certain things in your life. Now, in the last video, I've shared with you uh, information about meditation, how Meditation has been proven in a number of uh, clinical trials that it, it actually can help you to lengthen your telomeres, essentially reversing your biological clock. Okay, so in the last video, I also promised you that I will share with you another piece of information, another little secret that, uh, that actually helps you reverse your biological clock and lengthen, the, uh, lengthen your telomeres. Okay, so if you would like to find out what this other secret is, Please keep watching this video right to the end. So what is this one more scientifically proven way to lengthen your telomeres and reverse your internal biological clock? So just to quickly recap, the telomeres are, as, as I said before, they are the little um, the caps on your chromosomes. Uh, many scientists believe that they can be used to um, determine your biological age because they Essentially, they get shorter as we get older, and eventually when they become too short, our bodies essentially start to become very uh, sick and uh, we die. So you can actually, it, it wouldn't be wrong to say that telomeres are our internal clock that ticks away our time on this planet. Now, as I also said that, you know, recently scientists have actually proven that there's certain things that you can do to reverse this biological uh, clock and in fact lengthen the telomeres and we shared with you uh, one tip in the last video so what is another uh, secret that will help you lengthen your uh, telomeres and reverse your biological aging to a certain extent it is physical exercise now we know that physical exercise is generally good for our health so there's no surprise that physical exercise will actually also help you grow biologically younger now, before we go any further, I'd like to show you this little graph. Now, what this actually represents is um, our muscle strength or muscle mass as we mature and then as we get older. So as you can see on the left-hand side of this graph, this is when we are essentially we are born, we, get, we mature um, into our adulthood, and we obviously get stronger <clears throat> through our adolescence and through our, through our, our childhood. Now, our strength peaks at about the age of 30, maybe 35. And uh, from that point on, it basically, we, it, it's a decline, okay? So you can look at the bottom line here. And this line represents people who are not generally very healthy. They don't do enough exercise. And you can see how their decline, their muscle strength decline is very rapid. So much so that um, roughly at about the age of 65, uh, sometimes 70, they enter what's called disability threshold. So that means they carry at least um, one disability and they start to require help uh, to, to get their day-to-day -day things done. Um, now, what we do, we help to keep people in this um, top line. So 
even though this these people still experience some decline it's actually quite um, minor compared to the unhealthy people down the bottom um, so these are the people that tend to do some form of exercise usually involving some kind of strengthening exercises to keep their muscles nice and strong and you can see even as they get older it, probably well into into their 80s and 90s um, they're actually still doing pretty well and they're quite far off the disability threshold so you might be thinking okay well i'm now 60 70 whatever you know whatever your calendar age is um haven't been exercising that much so is it uh, maybe it's too late for you to actually do something about it well the answer is is no it's not too late and you can do something about it now, this, there was a study done in the States, and the, what they actually did is they took a group of um, people between the ages of 72 and 98, and they essentially they put them through uh, a 10-week strengthening program. So they exercised three times a week for 10 weeks. And what they actually found is that their strength improved by a whopping 113%. So that's more than double, okay? So... Uh, in that amount of time, only 10 weeks, two and a half months, their strength improved pretty much doubled or, or more than doubled. Um, and their walking speed increased by 12% as well. So if these these are 72 to 98 year olds, if they can do this, uh, what can you, do? I mean, you, you probably, you might be younger. Um, so imagine what you can do in that amount of time. So here's some proof that Exercise does actually help you to lengthen your telomeres, and this is a scientific um, trial, scientific study that was done uh, in London. And what they actually did is quite amazing. They took uh, 2,400 identical twins. Now, the thing about identical twins, their DNA is actually the same. Okay, so it's exactly the same. Now, what they actually did is one uh, one of the two identical twins, they got them to exercise regularly for a period of time. Um, and the other twin just carried on without exercise. And so they took their uh, DNA sample before and after this period of exercise, and then they compared. So what they actually found is the twin that was exercising had their telomeres longer by an equivalent of 10 years of human life. So essentially, they, by exercising, they became 10 years biologically younger. Now, that is amazing result. It just proves beyond pretty much reasonable doubt that exercising not only is just good for our health and makes you feel better, but also it actually helps you live longer and, and helps to um, reverse your biological aging to a certain extent. Uh, another study that was done very recently, in fact, in, in August 2018. So... Again, they took uh, two groups of people, so divided into two groups. One, um, w one was assigned to do um, supervised exercises uh, three, three to four times a week, three to five times a week for 40 minutes each. And the other group had, did, did pretty much no exercise. And so they measured, they took their DNA sample and measured their telomeres uh, before and after this intervention. And they found that um, the the exercise group, so people who perform this uh, exercise routine, they their telomeres were significantly longer than the people who did not exercise. So again, just another um, evidence that uh, ex exercise is definitely helping to lengthen your telomeres. Now, um, apart from that, they also found that there was significant reduction in body mass. Um, so the, it, it, the exercising obviously helps to lose weight. Um, it, 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 it decreased, uh, improved perceived stress. And obviously, as, as you would think, it uh, increased the cardio, cardiovascular fitness as well. So exercise, apart from having many other benefits, is actually it helps to lengthen your telomeres. Now, we don't have time to go in, in, in depth in, ter in, um, in what exactly what kind of exercises and exactly how long you should be doing it for. Um, so look, in um, very soon we're going to be running a webinar. Um, so at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, the 6th of November, we're going to run a webinar and we're going to, um, in this webinar, we're going to cover exactly what types of exercises 
um, you, you should be doing to lengthen your telomeres and grow biologically younger. So um, we're going to tell you exactly uh, how long you should exercise for, what kind of exercise you, you, you really need to do, and also how many times a week. So we're going to give you all the details to, um, so you can actually start growing younger. We're also going to reveal three more things you can do to lengthen your telomeres. So um, we talked about meditation, we talked about exercise today. We're going to reveal three more things that, are, that have been scientifically proven to lengthen your telomeres and essentially making you biologically younger. So all will be revealed in this webinar on the 7th, uh, sorry, on the, at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, the 6th of November. Um, so look, if you haven't been to a webinar before, if you don't know what a webinar is, essentially it's a, it's a seminar, uh, but it's run online and it's live. Okay. So very easy to, to set up. So if, if you register, um, we basically, um, send you a little link in your email and all you have to do is five minutes before the webinar kicks off. If you just click on that link and, um, it basically takes you, uh, takes you to the webinar straight away. So you can watch it from home from your laptop or from your computer screen. Very easy, very convenient. Um, and that we, we, we um, think it will take between 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, it, there will be a Q&A session at the end, so you can actually ask questions. It's, as I said, it's a live event, so we'll be presenting live, and you can ask us questions right at the end of the, of the webinar as well. Now, to register, um, please uh, just sign up below. Uh, there's there's a button there. Um, you can click on that, and it's it's a very quick, easy process. Just just sign up for the webinar, and we'll send you a, um, an email um, with a link in it. Uh, so just click on the link just five minutes before the webinar kicks off, and we'll talk to you all there. Now, there's only um, because of the web the software that we use for running the webinar, we can only have uh, 50 people on this on this webinar. So. Uh, get in first because if you if you miss out if we get the 50 people in uh, you won't be able to attend so um, first come first served and um, we'll see you all there